that kind of stuff, man, yeah. it, make, it, make the, it make everything taste, taste nasty. Like, you know, kale or kale, whatever it's called, KLA. It's like supposed to be a superfood, but yeah. that shit tastes nasty, bro. Kale. But <laughs> kale is good for you, though, man. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'm not into too many drinks with green in it and stuff because it do make you shit at the end. Yeah, you can't be doing You know? That. Like, I got a good bowel movement. Like, anytime I eat, I shit like a half an hour after it. <laughs> you know, I try not to keep nothing in this stinking ass gut of mine, but, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, man, all that shit is good for you. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of surprised to see how good shape you was in when you got here, though. Like, well, you know, I've been training myself since 97, staying in shape off and on and shit, learning a lot of shit from other trainers and shit. And I just know how to jump in shape real fast and just keep it there, you know. But now it's not just a, 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 a being in shape thing, just to be out here being in shape. In, at my state and age right now, it's a health issue. And I yeah. smoke a lot, so. Yeah. And I give like 150% on stage, like me and Meth is all over the fucking board when we're on stage. So the energy we got, man, you gotta be in a little bit of shape, man, jumping in the audience and pushing the audience back. So this is definitely part, so being in the gym is definitely part of your performance. And, uh, Absolutely. Defense. It's definitely part of my regimen of life. That's just what it is. Man, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I love it. I want to get a position, like I said, so. So you encourage the kids to get their ass off the couch? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I try to get all my sons, you know, my all my sons real physical. And then, you know, my youngest one, I'm trying to get him a little more fit. He's just a big guy. He's only 11 years old, but just so big. I got to get him in the gym, but he's going to be a football player, so he's a big guy. So, they, so if they play video games and that sort of thing, you give them, you like, you push them to connect and like that kind of thing, and weed, so they ain't sitting down as much? Well, with the games, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you like this. I want to encourage all the kids to get the fuck off the games. Leave the fucking games alone. They're deteriorating your mind. I'm serious. Like, a teacher even told me, like, you listen, if it was up to her, she would just eliminate all the fucking games for now. Um, so with my kids, they don't get games until the weekend. And, uh, you know, and in and, and the summer. That's it. Um, games is cool if you're an A and B student. And even then, you shouldn't have it because it's just so much other shit you can be doing positive and constructive towards your career than besides being in the games. Not shutting the game members down because I'm a gamer too, just like Meth is a gamer and all the gamers out there. But I'm talking about for the youth. They got to get their brain focused first because it's, it's a lot of literacy going on out there. We need to handle first before these games be nominated as the shit for kids. So that's why I'm at work. Yeah, I mean, like, on that note, like, you know, I'm from Camden, Jersey.